about the <laughs> missed video last week. I had the serious cold and cough. You could probably hear it. So anyway, today we're going to go visit Carl. About two years ago, I think, I did a twin 20-gallon budget hang-off-the-back video where I featured his. And we're going to go over there today and check in and update you on what he's got going on. He says the tank is looking perfect. I'm going to show you how he saved some money, some HOB stuff, and all sorts of stuff. So let's get going. We'll go right over there now. Ready? All right, I'm here, guys. Let's take a look at the hang off the backs first. My brother will be right down. All right, the hang off the backs are fluval. These are for 20 gallon. And this one here is a 50 gallon. This one for carbon or GFO. And this one is carbon or GFO. I think this looks like it's the carbon. And then this one here. And this one here is GFO. All right. All right you'll have to fix those. The hang off the backs run between 30 and 75. This is the Nano Glow over the 50 gallon for a refugium, hang off the back refugium. All right, and this is the same on this side. He, uh, this is a larger hang off the back, so he's got GFO and carbon in the same container, just separate bags, and that's okay to do that. There they are. By spreading these two out, if you're- Uh-huh. Mechanics of it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. What he did with the sensors on the ATO to make them work in the display. Right, let's start out with the ATOs. What he's done, I've gotten questions about this in the past. Can you use an ATO in a rim tank and in the display? And if you notice, he's got it in an area where there's not too much water motion. And he's had these up for about a year now. And the way he's attached it, let's keep in mind, guys, DIY means do it yourself and any way you can do it that you're satisfied with, it doesn't matter. What he's done is he took a piece from the overflow box. This is a piece that holds the filter media and he cut off the top. And then from that, he attached the sensor. The magnet goes behind it. So you can see that it extends out over the rim and then the magnet holds the sensor in place. And then any way you connect it to the side of the tank is the way to go. Now that's the ATO Aqua Light, by the way. And there's the container. And then he's done one in the other tank. Obviously, it's the same. And there's the container down there. So that's the ATO setup. What I want to show you is the lighting. All right, show me the lighting in here. All right, so the Finex lighting. This is like 149 bucks for this. Okay, a little bit more, but it's got a remote. And uh, what now your photo period on this is the lights come on when? I set it for noon time. Okay, noon time. Show me the noon time lights when they come on. You're ready. Okay, that's noon time. Yeah. All right, now if you want to go up a little bit, like a little bit brighter. What would be the next? Okay, so this goes up. So you can see it gets a little more. You're using the remote to do that with this. So this is four Finex. Levels. Four levels. Awesome. Five including max. Okay, and max. So now what would be the next level up from here? Yeah, There's red, the max. Green and blue light. Yeah, you can see that that's, that would be bright enough. I mean, I can't guess par, but my guess is you're up near the top you probably are at about 300 par right, and this is the sensor for the remote for the phoenix light so if you guys want a decent light for 150 bucks in that range that's programmable 24 7 this is the way to go just remember guys this is only filtered by the live rock and the hang off the back filters. All right, let's talk about the refugium now. This is what the refugium looks like. Really nice. And new viewers, these really work. They really work. You just have to 
not overstuff them and they work really well. And you have this on reverse photo period. It comes on at night, goes on all night long and comes off during the day. Here it is. And then flow. What kind of flow pump is this? The one in the back right on the right hand tank. Well, I see they, they uh, have a magnet on the outside that holds them in place. Oh, you did that. Another DIY? What are they called? Aqua Neat. Okay, so $17 for two. All right, so this is 425 gallons per hour and you got it flowing on the back, which is a good idea. And then obviously your hang off the backs are adding quite a bit of flow. And obviously the tanks, you're saving so much money. They're just all glass brand tanks, probably 30 or $40. All right, here's a quick look at the tank on the right. Remember, these are two separate tanks. Great coralline growth. The mushrooms are looking awesome. This is either frog spawn or torch. And then you got some zoanthids. He's only got one fish in here, which is fine. A nice big fat maroon clown. And he's got the blood red shrimp. This you said you had a mishap, things fell. So you're a little, things aren't opened up as much. But this side is, this one's looking really, really nice. And the heater. And it's probably a 75 watt, maybe 50 to keep this 20 gallon right at 78 degrees. That's the twin 20 gallon setup. What, I mean, what they are they? What, four and a half. Stars, yeah, that's so, really good. Well, I saw a lot of complaints though. Yeah, well, how much are in they? Two weeks are freaking 17 bucks for the both of them. For both? For two of them. Oh, see? And how long have you had them? Hold on. Oh, okay. So $17 for two. And you've had these how long now? There's one over only here about too. A week. Oh, only a week. So I have to <laughs> cut that off. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like a... So what I want to show you is... I want you to... Sh I, what I want to show you is the... What I want to show you is the lighting. 